Hello guys, Create Tutorials here, so yeah, now I'm back again for the uh, third part. Um, I don't know actually how many parts this is going to be, but yeah, it's, let's go, let's make this now. So, uh, last time we're, we were doing this, this motion track and messed up, but yeah, whatever. So, now what you want to do basically is just go to your original composition or whatever and you see I have yeah your things here as you see so that's good um, now I would like to create this wiggle as you see like it goes up and down like like a I don't know really but we're gonna gonna make that um, so you want to make a new uh, camera and uh, you want to make a new uh, null object and put the null object below and I'm just gonna see here okay wait Um. Okay, okay. So we will just on the null object. You wanna click so it's 3D, 3D layer. So just click this uh, cube, and then you wanna click R for rotation, and you wanna click Alt on uh, on all these X, Y, and X rotation. So one, and then uh, then you wanna write in wiggle. Uh, like the bracket thingy 1.5 then end bracket and then highlight it copy and just click away then uh, I'll click on the Y rotation um, just paste and then on the Z or rotation the last one control V yeah so now if we scroll through it doesn't work so it doesn't work I mean because we must connect this to the camera so we just drag this pick whip to the camera and uh, what you want to do is select the clips and click S for scale and drag up drag up the scale to 104 that's like perfect not too zoomed in and not too zoomed out uh, either so no black thing is will show up I think so uh, yeah then just close this up and then you wanna take this thing with both both of these selected and then go to the null object and just let go so now the clips are connected to the null object and the null object is connected to the camera so now if we scroll through it basically moves up and down so that's sexy uh, if you think it goes too fast or whatever just go back to your null object and just change the, the second number not second number so if you want slower just maybe take three or four if you want faster, take like seven. I don't know. I I I like five basically. So yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, so now we have that done. Uh, what we can do now is basically uh, the flashes, as you see. Wait. Like that flashes. And we will try to make everything because it's only four minutes, but can promise that we're going to make everything. But I'm just gonna watch how many fakes there actually is here. Uh, okay, so it's uh, so it's the slider and the the thingy. Okay, so the that's good. Okay, so you want to go into your comp and go to where you shoot. Uh, so it should be 
with a big drop so about here yeah there but it's not perfectly synced but uh, yeah I don't I don't think it makes that big difference but you, you just want to go where the beat drops or where your muscle flash comes and then you want to click um, yeah what, what you want to click <laughs> um, wait I gotta shake it's pretty difficult this okay just, just shit in that um, go to gunshots and then you go about uh, 30 frames or 40 frames or 45 frames uh, back then click this, uh, the scale and go to the rotation and click that too so now we have both keyframes checked uh, then go um, yeah you wanna go to where he shoots yeah now I remember you wanna go where he shoots so but there um, and then you wanna drag the rotation I think wait what did I use here oh, okay okay so like you wanna drag up the scale pretty much actually like maybe 55 57 and drag up the rotation pretty much too I think it's sexy with that like seven maybe and I just go uh, go like there straight this forward like basically the same length at as these keyframes and you set everything to zero and hundred four remember hundred four because otherwise it will be messed up so yeah it's like the keyframes uh, keyframe assistant and ECs so now it now we have this like it zooms in and BAM and then it zooms out that's cool um, now we can create the slider so uh, you wanna click P on your keyboard and yeah before you wanna drag in slider oh. slider control wanna search that up and hold shift and click P yeah you wanna select your slider control and with your position up so yeah you wanna uh, control click no I mean alt click and then you wanna write wiggle wiggle bracket 9 comma then you want to take this tool and pick whip to the slider and this basically does the shaky things uh, in your head it's like it shakes just before it shoots like a like a twitch effect but not really yeah, and then close bracket so double bracket uh, so just click away so now you you uh, control with a slider keyframe so you basically want to go exactly the same as this so go about here set oh no not that one wait uh, e slider you want to set the slider and then you and then go to the gunshots set that to 65 and then go to the end set it to zero okay guys uh, I will be right back okay guys I'm back so uh, where were we uh, okay I think we made these keyframes just right click and ECs them uh, so now it should like wiggle a lot and it should look really good so at the end here I did a uh, twig store right here so what you want to do is just go and drag in twig store and then 59.94 
FPS. Okay, and then go two keyframes or three actually. Three is always good. And then set it to two. It's gonna okay. So there we go now. Um, what can we do now? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can make all the effects when he shoots. So there is the everything. Okay, so on the fix tab here, you remember in the first part uh, we added in all these effects, and now it's time for keyframing them. So what you want to do is just keyframe the amount of the radial blur and the amount of the vector blur, blur length and the wave height and set the wave width to 7 or 6 and then ray length okay and then move 1, 2, 3 3 keyframes and just go start up and then uh, on the radial blur I usually set it to 3 and the vector blur to 20 and you see kind of what all the effects does and then 20 on the blur length uh, oh oh this I forgot ok I'll just finish this um, and this like 7 also yeah it looks cool and then the ray length I know it looks super duper weird but it will look good so now you wanna go 20 keyframes so 20 frames I mean yeah and set everything to zero so just put everything to zero and then highlight all the keyframes and you see them so now we have all these effects like BAM looks pretty sexy. so now the the warp effect that like this effect uh, where is it like this when when it's like zooming in a lot so I will just do that really quick I'll just okay um, so you just wanna go back in this and go where he shoots so there and then keyframe uh, the warp, set keyframe the blend and set it to 50 or actually more. Yeah, 100 looks sexy. And then click U to see the keyframes of that. And then move back like 20 frames, 25, and set it to zero. And then uh, just go to the end uh, like the same same length at, as these two keyframes and set it to zero and then as usual just highlight them and easy okay so that's about it for this tutorial I think uh, yeah I'm gonna do a fast RAM preview now. okay guys so this is the yeah, this is what we have made in these two, these three episodes. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, guys, in the four, fourth part, uh, we'll be doing the the flashes and. Uh, every effect that that's left basically the audio and the gunshots and everything so leave a like and a comment and just stay tuned for the fourth tutorial um yeah bye